Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a hybrid electric vehicle guys, okay, uh, or a plug-in vehicle. And if you want to check the battery condition, you want to test the battery to find out if it's good or bad, let's say you're buying a used vehicle or uh, you have problems and you're trying to figure out, okay, do I have a bad battery cell? Is my battery in good condition? Uh, how old it is? All that stuff. We'll explain that in this video today. Make sure you stay until the end. Now, we'll be demonstrating on four, but we will work on multiple hybrid and hybrid plug-in vehicles. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get at the garage, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need, guys, in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. That way we can keep providing this absolutely free information to you. And any of you that need to buy any special tools, parts, anything to fix your car, check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our tools, supplies from, and you can save yourself quite a bit of money. So with that being said, let's explain what we have here. This is a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. Okay, you can see it's a plug-in right here, guys, for C Max Energy. How you can test the battery on those uh, modern cars, pretty easy, guys. You need to find the OBD port. OBD port is right here, in our case, under the dash. Yours may be under the, somewhere under the dash, or under a cover like this one here, and that's what it looks like, it's just an OBD port. We're going to use the thing too, guys. This tube is amazing. It's like a dealer level equipment in your pocket for a fraction of the price. It can pay itself off in one time use. I will put the link in the description of the video below exactly which one this one is because uh, they have different versions and this one, you can access every computer system in your car. You can even do programming and on these modern cars, you have more than 50 computer systems in some cases. Turn ignition switch on. We're going to load the app. You can see that's the app right here. You have maintenance functions, OBD functions, reports, all system diagnostics. It works on almost any car you can think of. Always check if you uh, don't know for sure. You can check their website and see if it's supported. But yeah, it's amazing, even on Ferrari. So many cars. So I will go, click VIN decoding. That way we don't even need to manually select the vehicle, guys, when we do that. It's going to tell us exactly which vehicle we have. In our case, will be a 2013 Ford C-Max and it will decode the V number. Check it out, perfect. Follow the screen instructions. It may ask you to turn the ignition switch on or off, anything like that. Yep, right there, ours is on. Now it's going to uh, communicate with all the computers. It will load all the data and tell us exactly, okay, which systems are present in this vehicle. You can do the system scan, it will scan the whole system, system selection if you want to check just certain computer, special functions, module programming, vehicle information will go under system selection. Those are all the computers that we have here. Quite complicated, right guys? It's quite complicated. So, let's go now. Okay, to ours is ba uh, battery energy control module. Here we're going to select, guys, special functions, cell voltage right here. Got to make sure that you have the emergency brake on, you, the front and rear tires are blocked. Okay, it's processing. And now that uh, electric battery of that vehicle consists of 84 cells, like 84 individual small batteries right here, guys. Each cell is about 4 volts when it's charged it should be between 2 and 4.3 volts ours is charged all the way we just finished charging it now okay let me uh, clear the uh, messages there okay and you can see it's 18 miles all the way charged okay so uh, if you pay attention now all the way charged ours is at 4.0 uh, volts so it's a little bit colder today, that can affect the battery some as well. But, things to consider guys, when it's charged, it should be close to the upper limit. Okay, uh, and I recommend to charge it all the way and test it. And you have to make sure that all the cells are about the same. You can see they're about 4.03 volts or 4.29, which is really, really close. Okay, there is no cells that actually differ, deviate from each other. Now, one thing about that. If one is a little bit off, 
let's say deviates from the other ones let's say this one is 3.7 that's a bad cell that will cause problems in the future guys and you will know exactly which cell it is too so you can easily uh, replace that one as well on most vehicles some vehicles uh, you have to replace the whole battery but if you analyze guys okay i recommend to charge it test it full then drive it almost to be discharged almost all the way and then check the cells again to make sure that some cells do not discharge faster than other ones so all of them should stay about the same that's why you have that battery management system you can check under read data stream you can see quite a few more parameters about the battery if you need to okay right here you can check uh, the uh, the temperature of the battery if you have any errors if you're buying a vehicle the battery pack state of charge ours is 94.55 even though it's charged 100 percent we have some <laughs> battery loss over the years and the charge power limit is 3500 watts you can see those are that's the system 33.7 volts now eight and you can check the temperature of the delta module which is 35.6 you can see you can check each one of those guys each one of those can be checked and you can find out if you have any problems okay in the battery <coughs> the hybrid battery variation in the state of charge between battery modules is only 0.65 percent that's important it means it's small so you don't have big problems there guys uh, yeah so so that's it guys uh, hopefully uh, hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you guys needing help with that if you have any questions let us know thank you for watching and see you guys next time